Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to add a version to our package.json. Uh, this all what, the way that I'm doing this you really want to watch the previous four episodes if you haven't seen those Especially the first one because we're actually deploying it to um, the internet for real rather than using glitch We're using a github version. Um, we have our github projects here This is our current uh, package as it's seen on github and then here we are live using a uh, Heroku with a deployed node app So a version is one of the field uh, required fields for your package .json file This field describes the current version of your project Here's an example, 1.2.0. Add a version to your package JSON file. Okay, well, we've already, we have our server, we, we've got our, well, no, we don't have our local server runner. We've got our project here, and so our um, code is here. On the package.json, we want to be able to add a version. And uh, the best, right now, I don't see any reason to think of this as anything other than version uh, 1.0. So. We're going to save that. This is a key value pair, and this is inside of an object. So we want to make sure we've got a comma at the end, and then we've got uh, that we have each of these. It's all double double uh, quotation marks and uh, version 1.0. So if I save this, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to say git add, and then uh, that adds the change to the um, to be staged. So if I go git status, you can see it, we've staged the package.json. So we want to say git commit, and we're going to say add. Um, version, version, oh yes, I O N two package dot JSON. Get push that. Okay, so Git push is going to push it to uh, here, as you can to uh, GitHub, or because we're saving it as a GitHub project. And so right now, this was the last thing I did this an hour ago, and now if I refresh the page, you see we have a version 1.0 on here. Now that doesn't mean that it's ready to be deployed. This is our deployed app, and we're asking right now if Free uh, Code Camp can do it. It says that it should have a valid version key. We have not yet pushed this to Heroku, so we want to say git push head uh, Heroku. Uh, oh, sorry. Git push Heroku head master. And so this is how we push to Heroku, which means that we're running it actually live on the internet. So this is, once again, it's rebuilding the app with the new uh, package JSON file. And so we need to wait for this to complete. Uh, and now that the build has succeeded, we can come over here and uh, we can actually rerun the same exact thing and uh, the package.json should show that it's completed. Interesting. The e version. Package should have a version. Let's see if we mess this up. Maybe it needs to be 1.0.0.0. So yeah, I'll just do this again. Uh, let's just push it up again, see if that helps. Oh, another thing that could be happening is sometimes it just takes a little bit for Heroku to actually reflect the changes. Um, interesting. So I'm just going to check to see if version... No, it's there. Version is there. We've got version keyword. So yeah, let's uh, pop over to Heroku. I'm logged in here, and in here we can see Frozen Ocean. If I refresh, this is me logged into Heroku, and I have oh, gone to the More tab, and I'm going to View Logs. And so this will t should tell me that the app is running. There we go. And so perhaps it was just down for a minute. I'm not really sure. Let's see if we can get this to run. All right, not sure exactly what happened there. Maybe the 1.0 was an issue, or maybe the uh, site just crashed for a bit. But yeah, that's how we add the um, version to our package.json. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.